they will invite people to hold me so that the man will sleep with me. Three men and one woman, they can't hold me. The man sleep with me. From that, I carry beret. As I carry beret, I'll be this small to carry beret. See, as I know I've been rich, uh, 12 years, I can't carry beret. In Becheva culture, there's love marriage, there's money marriage. Now, in, mon in uh, love marriage, the children belong to the parents or the family of the girl. In money marriage, the child belongs to the man who bought the girl. The man can sell his own child. He doesn't divide the proceeds with anybody. We're going up to Papa Philip's house, the eldest man in Ogbakoko village. Um, he has a money wife and uh, he's willing to talk with us. His wife is also willing to talk. Um, we'll be there shortly. The man said, go sleep with me. He said, no, you, you know, go see sleep with me because if you know your age, even your child, he passed my age. I'm not going to see marry you. They will carry their picking, come give you. So when you reach about six years, they will carry come give you. Some a guru ten years, the carry come give you. That one it means they don't marry. That one a grow finish. You know how to cook. You know how to do everything. And as a money woman, you are not treated like other children are treated. You're not allowed to go to school. You're not fed when other children are being fed. So you are like given the leftover. Because as a money woman, you are you are the man's absolute property. Some of them are, are put into child labor. Some of them can be pimped to other men, and then when they even come back home with pregnancy, the man is glad because that is money. So this is Mama, her name is Monica Bebe. Mm. So Mama, uh, before she became a Christian, had had to sell her two granddaughters because she needed to fix the family juju. You know, people were dying and then she needed some money, so she had to give out these children for money so that she could get stuff. and. Uh, Happiness, happiness is the one cooking in the kitchen. Happiness had not had the privilege, she's about uh, 14 or so. She had not had the privilege of uh, going to school. The man be old. The man don't born in children, children don't they born. Children self don't they, the, as the, the grandchildren self, they don't they born. The man be no, the man be no, they grim me, they quarrel me, they beat me. Now they, One day he talk with himself, he kill himself, nobody could talk because me, now in money, woman, now in money, now in blood. It's, it's very, very illegal. Uh, in Cross River State, there's a law against it that has been uh, started to build since 2009. In Nigeria, it's against the law. But among these tribes, it's a status thing. Wealth cannot be ascribed to you if you don't have a money wife. In fact, the more money wives you have, the, the, big, the, the, the bigger you are. But people still think about that it's still happening. It's no longer happening. This thing is since in the 90s, early 90s. Meanwhile, we just rescued a girl who is seven years old a few days ago. I've actually been, um, I've received all kind of threat calls. I've been harassed severally because of this. It's like, oh, you are coming from nowhere to come and stop our culture. You're coming from nowhere to come and stop our tradition. What about these ones? What about these girls who have rights like every other child anywhere in the world? But why would they be so deprived of their rights? Why would they be so, why will such liberty be taken away from them? That's my cry. <laughs>